Kintsukuroi, a Japanese word meaning to repair with gold. The art of repairing pottery with gold or silver lacquer and understanding that the piece is more beautiful for having been broken. Death. Death is an operatic perversion of righteous intent. A God-fueled gift meant to take us when we are ready, but takes us when we are not. But we can be too broken to know we are, or what needs to be repaired. Kintsukuroi comes unnatural to us, the unpolished. Death is a touch of violence. I am shotgun in the face of it. I am less Genesis now, more stranger. In the wake of regret, people don't gravitate towards calm. Everybody goes to stare at the hurricane. I am unsure how to process. What am I to do with the dead thing I am carrying? Am I home when I scripture, or am I scripture when I am home? Or was I just waiting all this time for you to pen me into prayer? to take me to your God when the book shuts? Or was rigor mortis a reminder that saviors have skin and bones too? I have no language for what you gave me, but I understand it all the same. I will be spending the rest of my life under stubborn stars in the dents of night. Wishing you out of vastness, how dare I touch your immovable clay skin without your invitation? Veins of gold lacquer left from the metastasization. Do not leave me in impossible fields of oregano and rosemary to weep in. I cannot walk through it the way your motherhood loved my once pummeling wild and loved my particles and loved my particles me genesis and language Language is hearing you call me mijo when the arroz rojo was ready. It is witnessing the jealous look on your husband's face when he hears his name being used on other men. It is you forcing me to take a second plate of food home. It is you forcing me to take a third plate of food home. It is asking you to save the fourth plate when I come back. It is constantly hearing how you turned down his offer of marriage twice. It is you usurping the darkness because Kintsukuroi comes unnatural to us, the unluminous. It is stumbling upon your husband's diary wide open. Seeing May 1st circle with the words 427 AM, day 913, with a thumb-sized picture of you. Language is speechless when this will be the last entry he will ever make. It is a God-fearing woman leaving this world on the same day we celebrate the resurrection. Language is irony. Language is walking into your house. Language is walking into your house and seeing the oxygen tanks you will no longer be using. It is walking into your house and not wanting to inhale for fear of taking too much of you outside. It is not wanting to face your husband or daughter for fear of no language. Language is him. Language is hugging him. Him crying in my ears to whales of fish. I begged her to switch places with me, but she said, no, mijo. It is seeing you on your deathbed it is seeing you for the first time without a smile. It is seeing that you usurped the darkness and gave off light, your face a deep sunshine yellow. Language is calling your face the sun in this poem instead of the post-mortem yellow bile caused by the cancer because I don't want to remember you last like this. Or maybe because I have no language for this. Language is seeing your daughter still lying next to you since you left her at 4.27 a.m. It is walking out because my tears are wetting the carpet and you would be scolding me now for it if you were here. 
It is seeing your husband walking around with your purse all day, crying that you forgot to take it with you to your God. It is turning around because I thought I heard a biho. It is wishing I took that fourth plate home. Kintsukuroi, a Japanese word meaning to repair with gold, understanding that a piece is more beautiful for having been broken. Death does not punish in a manner consistent with the severity of our transgressions. It is a wake-up call. It takes transgressors and saints alike, including her, who had been saving our lives in a flurry of heroism not seen since the days of mythology. I was both daredevil and nomad before her heart came into the picture and she did not even know it. How many of us know ourselves as falling leaves and have someone love us into season? So bright we look empty. So form-fitting into our broken, we confuse it for prayer hands. How many of us were once vagabonds without legends until someone augmented our lives into sublimity and gave our madness a chance? Assuaged the frills of our skin until they were but embroidery towards the margins of our trauma. How many of us loathed being born in the dark until someone told us the reason we were born in the dark is because when the world tries to force itself to sleep, our arrival will teach them how to love the night again. How we got to go there to know there. She was an aunt, a mother, my favorite poem, a holy chance, a blooming Rudrashka seed. It is why I have always hated funerals, not because of the loss, but the ego in having one. Like, why mourn for someone who is in a better place? Room full of permeating regrets. They are more for us than the deceased. But she still kintsukuroi's me even in the afterlife. For I am also a direct testament to her repair. I am now a pot of fracture mended with a smile of womb-like weather, a blade of sun, a language taught by the caller of her grace. I have kept her miracle. I will charm the wind to take the air out of your room to the four corners to those who might need a lesson on how a loved language can bend the universe, expose the cracks, and to see the sky and gold in ourselves. Thank you.